This is easily one of the most beautiful smartphone cases I have ever seen. Wait, hold on. Before I show you the case, it might help to have some context. I've been reviewing smartphones for years, and before that, selling them or just following them out of enthusiasm. Whether it's the Google 6 and 7 Pro, Nothing Phone, Galaxy S23 and S22 Ultra, Galaxy Flip, OnePlus 10 Pro, OnePlus 9, OnePlus 7T, an old Galaxy S8 just for the heck of it, and a Windows Phone. Don't hate me, I really liked Windows Phone. I've reviewed and spent a lot of time with a lot of different phones. As a phone reviewer, I avoid cases as much as possible, at least during the review period. That gives me a sense of the durability. As soon as I'm done with the review, I want to get in the case right away just to keep it protected. Take the Pixel 7 Pro, my current daily driver for instance. I've treated it with the same care as all my phones, but while the rest look mostly new, this one is covered in horrifying scratches, nicks, and other unsightly damage. So when Carved reached out and offered me a case, well, I had to go for it, if nothing else, because <laughs> this phone really needs one. And just look at this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, just to be clear, Carved sent me this case although they don't know I'm doing this video review and they haven't sponsored this video. I can say without a doubt, it's an absolutely beautiful smartphone case. When you order a carved case, you get what they call a one-on-one -on -one case. That is, no two pho phone cases are alike. Every single one is different. And that makes sense because the process means you can't possibly get a repeat. But the final result is nothing less than beautiful. And what you get comes with all kinds of nice touches. They slip a MagSafe ring into the case so that despite being for a Pixel 7 Pro, you can use a MagSafe charger with your phone. I have a few MagSafe chargers in my house and I've tested it with it and it works really well. Not quite as strong as an actual iPhone is, especially because you have a case involved, but it does just grab onto that charger and plucks it into place and it's really nice to have. It's an extra touch that's not necessary, but I really appreciate it. The case itself is thick enough to keep the Pixel 7 Pro camera bar off the table, which means no more rocking when you put your phone camera side down. And considering how easy it is to scratch the screen, I really appreciate the lips the case add to the top and bottom so that it won't actually let the display touch the surface when you put it screen side down. I especially like the ridges that carved, well, carved into the side of the case. It's the kind of thing that just screams. I won't escape from your grip and fall endlessly to the ground, leaving your phone completely shattered and broken, which is what you want. I'd like to say that it's perfect. Unfortunately, I do have three complaints with the case. Let's go from minor to not so minor. First up is the buttons. Now they are made of metal and they feel really nice and clicky and they work really well. You can order them in either silver or black. I opted for black and I think they look great except they're formatted wrong. Take a look at the grouping. The way they're configured, you'd think that these two were the volume buttons, and this third one is the power button. But on the Pixel 7 Pro, that's not how the buttons are grouped. Take the phone case off, and you'll see that power button on the case is actually volume down, and that the volume up button on the case is power. Now, despite all that, all the buttons work, and they work well. But if you look at the case and think, I know which one is which, you're probably wrong. You'll have to remember how the phone actually has it configured. And while it doesn't break anything, I think it's worth mentioning. The second problem is a bigger concern. That's the portholes. They're just a smidgen off of where they should be and a little bit too small, which means that some of my cords won't get a solid connection. In my car, my USB-C cord doesn't want to stay in, which isn't great for Android Auto. It's constantly popping out at every little bump, which on the road is basically every five minutes. I don't know if the port problem exists for iPhone and Galaxy phones as well, but at least for the Pixel 7 Pro, it's something you want to keep in mind. You may have to do some adjustments depending on the size of your cords. And as for the third thing we need to cover, well, I'm a bit hesitant to list this, but I'm going to. These cases are technically very expensive. $189 for a live edge case. It's hard to find 
well, any other phone case that costs as much as a cheap smartphone. But here we are. On the one hand, there's no getting around the fact that $189 is a lot of money to spend on just a phone case. But hear me out. That's not the whole story. We're not talking about just any old silicone case after all. Remember, I'm a hobbyist woodworker, and as such, I know what goes into making this case. Realistically, what's going on here is pretty impressive and pretty hard to do. Carved takes a wood burl, which is the kind of wood that most woodworkers actually avoid because it's difficult and annoying to work with, and they, well, carve it down into a usable shape. They add epoxy to make a big old brick, then throw it on the CNC. But the work's not done there. Because of the way the router bit works, it leaves a lot of lines that are unsightly and rough and just, well, plain bad. And that wouldn't make for a pleasant experience. So from there, somebody has to take the case and hand sand the thing until it's nice and smooth and comfortable, and then apply a finish from their marketing materials that looks like Odie's oil, which isn't necessarily cheap either. A lot of work goes into designing the case, making the brick itself, carving it down, and then a lot of handwork goes into sanding the thing smooth and finishing it out, and then there's more time involved in letting the thing fully cure and be ready. That's a lot of work, that's a lot of expense, that's not easy, and that's the reason why this case costs so much. And what you get for it is one of a kind. There are no other cases that look exactly like this one. If you go to their site today, you'll pick from a bunch of different options, but they're basic digital representations of a block they've got laying down that they will then carve into your case and then you will be the only one who ever has that exact look. You're paying for a bespoke wood epoxy case. What I'm getting at here is while carved cases are expensive, they deserve to be expensive. And maybe that's not enough in your mind to justify the price, but in my mind, especially fully understanding the process, I can't avoid one simple fact. Despite its flaws, this is the most beautiful case you can put on your phone. If you can afford it, you should buy one. Hey, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can see my next video about a robot lawnmower I really want to love if I could just keep it out of the street.